I went down to uh, and joined the <coughs> Geology Society down to the library. And I got kind of interested in the family history, my father's history. But I never could find much on it. I knew the father died when he was five years old, and his mother died when he was 11, and he was the youngest, and he was an orphan from then on, and he kind of took care of himself. So I wanted to find out a little more. And I went and looked, and I couldn't find anything. I was very disgusted. And I was talking to some lady at, at the meeting. She said, oh, I saw something, I think, in the, in the book on, on slavery from Maryland. So I went back to this book, and evidently I had missed the page. And when I turned to the page, I saw my great, great grandmother, mm -hmm. Phyllis Bowman, 45 years old, a slave for life. Mm -hmm. I froze, I couldn't move at all. I just sat there for about five minutes just just thinking. Slave for life. And under that she had listed all of her children. And at the bottom of it was my great great grandfather, Jared. Bowman, he was five years old, and he was listed as a slave for life. And this was their freedom. They had filed for freedom in five years after freedom in Washington. And you begin to understand how I got interested in that part. Dedicated your life to keeping and preserving history. Mm -hmm. What sort of history have you preserved over the years? Uh, I, I like pub public history. By that I, I mean how well you have to look at history in, in, in a couple of ways. You can just read history and think no about it, but. Uh, as I begin to look at history, even in Mount Zion, uh, people kept history. You have to remember that we didn't have any schools. Uh, the only school that we had was uh, uh, in the churches. And we couldn't meet. So uh, they kept records of maybe dates of what happened. So you take those dates and you look at what happened in public. What was going on outside of the church or in the community. What was surviving. That's what I, that's what I, I, I like. Uh, I, I like to see, look at the record of Mount Zion. It might be, it just might tell you something. It gives you a chance to do a of what we call re research and find out that these people were limited in their maybe English and writing or whatnot, but they had a reason for putting down their, their records. So this is what I like is, is public history. <laughs> The history of very influenced other communities. 
what has happened into Harry Hill is what happened to most of the community. As the younger people grew out, they heard the lessons of living in Cherry Hill with them. And they don't forget, and they generally involve themselves in the communities where they live. You do what you gotta do. Appreciate it, sir. Uh, is that what, if you look at the first black elected officials in that were ever elected around eight, around the uh, you will find out that most of those persons got their training out of Harry Hill in their church work and they in their civic work and they just carried this extended this on to their community. So there has been an outreach of, of the lessons that they learned in Harry Hill. Harry Hill was very, very crowded, as I told you. About a thousand people living in maybe a mile radius Afro-Americans. Do you know how it got its name? Because of the um, the fish they used to catch in the uh, river. Have you been over the? Have you walked through here? <laughs> States, or in, if you don't own the property. And so you can talk the big talk and you can do all you want to, but if you don't own property, you, 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 you don't have a voice. But uh, that has been the big change. Uh, they have reclaimed the property back. There has been a sweeping change where we go. You go to a meeting. For some reason or other, which I haven't quite figured out, I'm still here. That's what I want you to think about. Why are you here? Be a curious monkey. And make sure <laughs> that you do what you have to do. You know, why are you here? And to get the most out of what you had to do. And I, uh, I leave that with you. I hope I can have helped you out some way. It has been a, a, a great, great life. Not all up, not all down, but it has been very, very fortunate. I, uh, I enjoy, I can put it all together. So uh, I, I, I wonder that, and I hoping that why? Maybe this will help some young people like you. That's why I think.